Amid the coronavirus pandemic, as governments impose lockdowns restricting movement for millions of their residents across the world, uh, one of the worst hit sectors was the aviation industry. But now, as lockdowns are being lifted and restrictions are being eased, international air travel is expected to resume slowly. But one of the concerns of restarting international air travel or even domestic air travel for that matter is the risk of spread of infection on board flights, especially since aircraft cabins are compact spaces, which makes it very difficult to maintain social distancing norms of maintaining distances of at least two meters between passengers. A Seattle-based company called Teed may just have the answer. They have come up with what they are calling air shields which might just make it safer for people to travel by air. And the concept of air shields is based on the idea that inside of an airplane, infection is more likely to spread from the airflow dynamics rather than from direct contact. understand how air shields work, we need to first look at how the inside of an aircraft is different from other indoor spaces such as offices, gyms, restaurants or retail stores. Now the inside of an aircraft cabin is a highly regulated space which is to say that the airflow inside of an aircraft cabin is heavily controlled. So as per the WHO, in most modern aircrafts, the air is changed at least 20 to 30 times per hour and uh, it is a well-ventilated space as a result. So this means that about 50% of the air inside of an aircraft cabin is coming from outside of the airplane and the remaining 50% is uh, recirculated filtered air which is filtered using HEPA filters also used in air purifiers. So this means that it is a very well ventilated place. It is basically a 3D printed nozzle which can be fitted onto gaspers uh, already there on modern aircrafts. Uh, these are the nozzles which you find above your passenger seats uh, from which air comes out. So once you fit an air shield onto it, what it does is it will sort of create a virtual barrier between one passenger and another. What, what it does is it will use the existing airflow of the cabin to sculpt the air around you in a way that uh, for example, say you are sitting on seat A and you've released a droplet. So the airflow aided by the air shield should help push that droplet downward towards uh, the base, uh, towards the floor and away from the noses and mouths of passengers sitting next to you, uh, thereby reducing the chances that infection will be spread. Poorly ventilated places are associated with infection spreading more easily. Uh, a study which came out from China in April uh, told us that in a very uh, told us about a very specific incident which took place in a restaurant in Guangzhou, where an infected person was able to transmit the infection to nine more diners. And the researchers in that study believe that. Uh, it could be the droplet transmission could have been aided by the airflow systems of the air conditioners and they also noted that it was a poorly ventilated restaurant so therefore ventilation is important to reduce um, transmission of infection